Hi! In this lesson, we're going to create a piece of Andy Warhol-inspired pop art using Inkscape. So open your Inkscape program and let's zoom in on our page. And the first thing we need to do is import an image. Now I've provided you with an image that you can use, but you do not have to use the image I've provided. You can use any image, but it needs to be black and white so you can convert it to black and white and really have a pretty high contrast to work well. So in order to import an image, we go to File, Import, and then we select, and I'm going to search for Jim Morrison. There's my image. Now, we want this image to be transparent or see-through, okay? We're going to go to Filters, Fill and Transparency, and then Light Eraser. If you're working on a Windows-type computer, it may be in a different spot or look a little bit different, but under Filters, you should be able to find Light Eraser. I'm going to click Light Eraser, and I want to have a live preview so I can kind of see what's going on here. And you can see that it's washed out all of the mid-tone and light areas, but those are now transparent. And I can make this where it's not quite as much. I can do some adjustments to it to the opacity if I'd like. And so you can just do some changes. I can even invert this if I want to and really make it crazy. All right, so I'm gonna apply that filter and close. Now, just to show you what we've done, I'm gonna pull out a rectangle here and let's change the color by going to Fill and Stroke. And we can just pick any color here, it doesn't matter. And let's pull that over here. And I can't say it now because my color is opaque. But remember, we can use these tools in the upper bar here that move these. It's like stacks of paper. So I need to move this one to the back. And now you can see that you can see the color through it. I can add other colors on top of that. Let's, let's say we want to give him um, a purple face. I can take that purple move that up, send it back one layer. And now if I want it to just cover his face, remember I can edit Pats by Notes, this figure eight, and I can pull this into any shape I want. And so it just covers the area I want. So you can give him, you know, colored lips or just patches. Um, some students have created some really interesting effects where they have created these squares of color that they've reduced the transparency on. And, um, and created some interesting effects that way. Also scoot that back one. So that you can really create an interesting pop art effect. You're not limited to just following exactly what I have on the, the sheet for you. I want you to be creative with this. Now there is an important component to this. You're gonna to have to build these individually, otherwise it's gonna change the color on every one of them, okay? So it's really best if you create each one of your squares in a different layer so that they don't get confused. So let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna select um, this outer rectangle here again. I'm gonna make that a little smaller. And I'm going to select all of these items here. Um, let me just pull this out this way. It's probably easier. And I'm going to select all these items. Now it's selected everything. I'm going to go up here to Object and Group. That way I can move and scale this. Oh, it didn't do it. It didn't select everything, did it? That's not nice. Let's see if we can do this again. 
Um, so now I can move everything together so that I can put my squares on here. Another thing that you might want to do is, it, depending on whether you want it to be a square or whether you want it to be oriented um, horizontally, remember that you can change the orientation of your document by going to File, Document Properties, and then just hitting Landscape if you would like for it to be in that horizontal direction. I'll take this and I'll scoot it down here be a little easier to work on. All right, now I want to create another one of these, but I'm going to put it on a different layer. So I'm going to go to Layers, and this is Layer 1. I'm going to add a layer, and we can just call it Layer 2. I can call it anything. I'm going to lock uh, Layer 1. No, I'm going to leave it for right now. And what I'm going to do here is, let's go back to layer one, select all of our stuff. We have grouped all this together. So I can do um, Command C, Command V, and I've copied that. All right, and I'm going to move this. I, what I did was I right clicked. I'm going to move this to layer two. Now I've got each of these on a different layer. All right, scoot up over here. Now I don't want the same colors, so I can change my colors. I'm gonna lock layer one, and now I'm going to ungroup this thing on layer two. So if I go to object, I can ungroup. Now I can pick these individually and change them. So see, I can move these. Now you may have to pull them apart just because it doesn't want to select them. Let's just scoot him over for a minute. Let's say that I want this piece right here to be green. Go to Fill and Stroke. Pick a nice color here. If you want to change this one, uh, I'll make that one blue. Uh, no. Well, a yellowy color doesn't really work on that background, but that's right. I'm going to change it because now I'm going to select my background and I'm going to put that somewhere like that. And now click pick him and scoot that over there. And now you can see that I have created something similar to what you see with the Marilyn Monroe picture in your um, instructions. The key to this, like I say, is using your layers. Shift Control L for layers. Now for my next one, I'm gonna create a new layer. And so I can add that layer. I can now just hit Control V and there's a new image on that layer. I can break that apart and then create another piece there. I could also select this box here. Let's ungroup all that. My little box. Okay, what if I want to have a little more variety here and kind of move it around? So maybe I'll rotate this box. So I'm going to turn it so I can have a little variety in my shapes. Maybe I will make it a different color. This one green, and this one um, all right. So now I can kind of reassemble my design here. So you can see how this works. Have fun making your pop art design. I look forward to seeing what images you choose and how you use this idea to create your own unique, fun piece of art. Bye.